Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'm excited to share this completed album with you. This is a custom order, and it it's a baby's first year album. You, If you follow me, you saw I just recently did one. Here is another one. It's a 12-page album, and it goes through the entire first year of the baby's life. As you can see, I used black as my card base. I used an adorable paper collection from Knitwit Collections. I used two of them, Hula Bazoo, Bazoo and Jungle Fun. I'll put links down in the description box below. And I also used some elements that I had in my stash or cameo cuts as well. So here's the front of the album. This album is approximately seven and a half by seven, and the spine is about four and a half. Here's the spine. It says baby's first year. I typed that out and printed that out. And then I used the paper from the paper collection from Knitwit. And I did spray a Mod Podge acrylic clear sealer on the front cover and all the elements just to seal it. I ran this cloud through a dots folder, um, a cuddle bug folder, this one here, and I popped this one up. This little guy has two layers of craft card stock under him, and I pop, so he's popped up slightly. It has the word blessed. So again, this is a one-year album, so the mom can document the baby's entire first year. On each side, on each left side, there's a photo map that is four and an eighth by six and an eighth. So the mom can add a photo on the front and the back, and it'll leave a small white, excuse me, a small black border. Here's the little journaling card. It comes in the paper collection. And all of my little guys that are holding the photo mats are um, doubled. So they have, they're a little bit more sturdy. On this side, I made a pocket. I added the sentiment, welcome to the world, little one. I added some of the Crystal Nouveau drops to the pocket. Here is the welcome page for the baby. The mom can add the baby's name at the top and then all the information. She can add a photo on the back. And these pockets will hold lots and lots of photos, probably like six, easily six photos, plus the photo added to the journaling spots as well. Here's one of the paint chips. There's gonna be two in this album because I'm, like I said, I'm using two of the paper packs, Hula Bazoo and Jungle Fun. It's a zoo out there. I love that these coordinate, and this is great for journaling or just using as decoration. I love how, what they add to the photo though, or to the album. So this first pocket, I added two bracket pullout mats. They're blank, so the mom can, again, add more photos or journaling. But I added two because one of the sides will be the baby's newborn photo, and then the other side starts month one. So this is month one. Here's another little journaling spot or a little three by three photo would be perfect for this. On this side, I added one of the labels that come in the collection and I double matted it and then put it on black cardstock so it's sturdy. And here's the milestone cards for each pocket. So this is obviously month one. The mom can add all her journaling and a photo on the back. Again, photos to the pocket is a great idea as well. I won't pull all of these out. Um, I have a video showing how I've made one of these in my cameo. It's under the Silhouette Basics playlist if you're interested. Again, another little journaling spot, perfect for a photo or journaling. On this side, I used a W plus nine, that is all stamp set and matching die. So I stamped out, I think you're, and then perfect, I stamped and cut it out as a die cut. So it is a little bit dimensional. I added some more Crystal Nouveau drops, this little guy from the paper collection and three little buttons. To the pocket I have the milestone card and then a large map for a photo, small map for a photo or journaling. As far as writing on black paper, you can use a silver pen or a white gel pen. Look how cute this paper is. I love how this album turned out. I think it's so cute and it's very easy for the mom to do and keep up with. So this side I have that large um, sign that comes in the paper collection that holds my photo mat. On this side I cut out a border from the cameo. It's kind of a wonky scallop border. Added an Allie Edwards stamp that says love you so very much and three of the little ivory hearts from Wild Orchid Crafts. Another little photo mat.
Oh, I love this little zebra paper. It looks cute with the zebra on here. This is from um, my stash. And here's an adorable little, again, photo mat. On this side, I added this. I had this in my stash as well. It says Little Miracle. I added some of the little stars from Wild Orchid Crafts. They're pearl stars. Another photo mat, month four. These I just designed myself, printed them out on craft cardstock. And then I added a little bottle that the mom can journal on the back. Or again, just leave it for decoration. This, look at this adorable hippo. And then another little journaling card. All of these, as you can see, match the collection, like it matches this little lion right here. On this side, I have the snake, some cute buttons, another photo mat, month five. I really tried to keep the lace, the bows, and the flowers out of this since it's for a little boy. Although I don't think, I think a little bit of um, trim and bows are okay for a baby album. This one, another Allie Edwards stamp, it says grateful for you. I had this little elephant in my stash and I cut out a bracket piece to add to the pocket. Absolutely everything in this album, everything has been um, inked, just the edges. I didn't do too much distressing with both black soot and vintage photo. I just more or less wanted to get the white edge off of the, say the journaling cards or like this. But as you can see, I didn't distress it too much. I just took the white off the edges. But like these guys, I did a little bit more with the vintage photo. This side has the large, this comes in the paper collection as well. Obviously it's a zoo. This little guy was from my stash holding his little banana. Again, a milestone card and another one of these adorable paint chips. Look at this paper, I love that. Super cute. And um, if you're watching this video, today is September 3rd, Knitwit Collections is having a huge fall sale right now. So head over there and check out, they have that their annual fall sale and it's a big sale. So check that out. This side, I have another little journaling spot or photo mat. And then this photo mat. This side, um, this is a little guy that I had in my stash. I added the word blessed, another one of those wonky scallop borders. And then I added three of these little star buttons. Photo mat to the pocket, love this paper. In their collections, you get the pattern paper. You can also purchase separately, or if you get it in the bundle pack, you can get their solids paper. And their solids match perfectly with their collection. So I don't have to go through my stash and try and figure out you know something that matches everything matches with their collections another photo mat on this side this side i added this comes in their collection as well and i added an ally edwards stamp that says gratitude equals happy heart i added a flourish and then here is the milestone card for month number nine and then this little tag um obviously i cut this part out with the paper collection and then i added this it's like a um i don't know it's like a chamille twine or something Super soft. I've had it in my stash for a while and I think it goes great with this collection. The little panda bear on this side. On this side, I added the monkey. Again, I did three layers for him since his tail would be sticking up to make it a little more sturdy. Added the word baby boy. Love this paper. On this side, I added a little, um, you know, twirly do whatever you want to call it and it says love you little one I punched out some stars this is an EK success punch I've had forever looks perfect in a little boy album and then the milestone card for month 11 another small tag with a little bit of seam binding love this guy he's probably my favorite from this entire collection and I love the entire collection so love this guy um, on this side I have another tag from the paper collection and some of that blue uh, trimming and then on this side being that it's the baby's first birthday I stamped happy birthday and hooray on this added the cute little parrot and 
the sign that says please don't feed the animals. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through and check out Knitwit Collections if you're interested in this paper collection or their sale that they have going on right now. Thanks so much for watching.